how's everybody doing? Who here has started school? Yeah? How's school going? You like it? Is it good to be back in person with your friends and your teachers? Yeah? Okay, well I have a question. So here I've brought a lunch bag, right? What do you all like in your lunches at school? Hamburgers? Okay, yeah. Pizza, yes, I like pizza too. Ramen? Awesome. So, what's your favorite food, Jennifer? Pizza? Yeah. How about you, Kat? Ramen? Do you have a favorite food, Matthew? Green apple. Wow. One of us is healthy. That's great. So, I have a few things in my lunch bag. Okay, I want you to tell me what are these. Bread. Yes. You use bread to make a sandwich. That's right. How about this? Tortilla. Yes. How about this? Juice, yes. So in my lunch, we've got some bread, we've got some juice, okay? Now, why do we eat bread and juice or anything at all? Because it can be healthy for you, yeah, that's right. Any other thoughts? Because God made it, yeah, that's right. He gives us food to keep us nourished and healthy and alive, right? So just like we have our bread and we have our juice, right? You know, God says that he is the bread of life. In John chapter 6, verse 35, he says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me and believes in me shall never hunger or thirst, right? Now, when you get hungry, how do you feel? Your stomach starts to hurt. Yeah. Yeah, Matthew. How do you feel when you get hungry? Does it feel good? When you're hungry, it feels good? Or when you eat, it feels good? Yeah, when you're hungry, it's like, wow, I really just need something to satisfy my hunger, right? It's not comfortable. Who knows the word hangry? Hangry, yeah. Hangry meaning you're hungry and you get angry because you're hungry, right? Now, in life, sometimes, you know, things are difficult, things can be hard, and we may look for a lot of ways to fill our so-called hunger or our dissatisfaction, right? And when Jesus says that he's the bread of life, what that means is that he is the one that satisfies us, right? It's in him that we have life. Who here has ever taken communion or seen somebody take communion, right? We know communion when we remember that Jesus died for us, right? And when we say that we're remembering the Lord's body, what element do we use to represent the Lord's body? Anybody know? The bread, right? Why is that? Because bread sustains us, food sustains us, right? And when we take the cup of grape juice, um, you know, that's his blood. So just like I have this bread here and I have this juice, right? All the more so do we need Christ, right? Because it's in him that we have life. He's the one that's given us life. And because he shed his blood for us, we have our salvation. So not only are we sustained while we're here on this earth, but we also have the promise of everlasting life, right? And that's why when he says we'll never be hungry and we'll never thirst, that means we'll never go without as long as we're in him. Amen? Does that make sense? Any questions? All right, so does everybody want to pray with me together? Yeah? Okay, come a little closer. Let's all pray together. You want the juice? Okay. <laughs> you can have the juice. Okay, so dear Jesus, thank you so much for this day and for bringing us together here. And thank you, Lord, that you are the bread of life and that it's in you that we have our very life, not just here on earth, but we know that even after we will live eternally with you. And we thank you, Lord, for this promise and for satisfying our every need in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good job.